This video is going to show you how to create interactive activities using Canva templates in a Jamboard. So right now you're looking at the Canva for Education interface. It is free for anyone in the K-12. If you have not registered or have an account, you'll have to verify that you are in education and a teacher. But since I'm already registered and verified, I'm going to go ahead and log in with Google. So now that I'm in Canva, Canva is great because it gives you all kinds of different templates for stuff. I mean, right here, you have anything you can think of. And then as you go down, you can see some of the more trending topics inside of Canva. So what I want to highlight today is using Canva's online whiteboard templates to create some really cool activities in Jamboard. So instead of trying to search through templates, and since I already know the kind of template I want, I'm just going to come up to the search and type in online whiteboard. This is really nice. It gives me 109 templates to choose from, and I can create one from scratch. But I'm just going to show you some of the templates they have in here today. Scrolling through here, I have a ton of different options to use as a template or background in my Jamboard. I think for our first example, I'm just going to go ahead and um, maybe use this one. This kind of reminds me of maybe a Chalk Talk template for those Edge protocols. So this one's more of a reflection piece for a teacher to kind of gauge what a student at once, but I don't want to use it for that. So I can just change this to maybe my question of the day. And so I'm just going to edit this a little bit and I'm going to delete that. I'm kind of going to just leave as is for right now. I have my question on there. I can probably use this template over and over again if I want to keep using this almost like an exit ticket, but I can use it as a chalk talk or I can ask a more specific question. But for today's example, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to change any colors and I'm going to click download and I want to go ahead and just download as is. So on my laptop, it comes down here to the bottom of my Chrome, and I'm going to go to my Jamboard I have open. And so I want it here, and I can't just drag it and place it. It doesn't work. So I need to go to Set Background, and I'm going to choose the Image option. Now I can just take it from here and drag right into there. And it populates to my background of the current Jamboard slide I'm on. It is my background, and these things are locked here, so these sticky notes won't move. So now I can just have my kids take a text box, and start typing to answer my question. So that's an easy way to do that. And if you want multiple boards for this, I can just come up here to my dropdown and right click on it and duplicate. And so now I have multiple boards and I can do that a couple times if I want to. So there are some other options that I added in here. I found an exit ticket in the online whiteboard. I also did stop, start and continue protocol. And then I created my own start, stop and continue. When you come to the online whiteboard, because they assume that you will use this inside of Canva, they already add pre-populated options in here. So like these, so that if my students were to do it directly in Canva, they could just take these and move them or copy paste them to where they need to go. I don't want those because when I add them into Jamboard, they're locked or fixed to the background image so the students won't be able to use them. So what I did is I just highlighted them all and deleted this off of here and then I added in my own directions. So that was simple for me to do and then I did the same process. I downloaded as a picture and added it into my Jamboard as you can see right here. So here's the other one. As you can see, I can't take these and do anything with them. I did the same thing for this amendments one. I used this affinity diagram, and because these sticky notes would have been fixed to the background, all I did was change the titles, change the title of the picture here, and then I deleted these out. So that was pretty simple to do. And then I create this amendments diagram to populate into my Jamboard. So super simple, pretty easy for my students then to type up and they can just add their sticky notes where they need it to add. I hope this is an easy way to find online whiteboards, some quick templates to go ahead and populate right into your Jamboard. There's all kinds to choose from here. Enjoy creating your activities in Canva.